Hey everyone, welcome back to Bazai. Today we're diving deep into one of the most critical elements of modern software, the API. Whether you're building web apps, mobile apps, or cloud services, designing robust and developer-friendly APIs can make or break your platform. So what are the secrets to crafting APIs that developers love to use? Let's walk through the essential patterns you need to know. Let's start with idempotency. Idempotency is about predictability and reliability. When a client repeats the same request, the API responds with the same result every time. This matters most in network environments where errors and retries happen. For example, get, head, put, and delete operations should always be idempotent. If your client asks to delete a resource twice, only one deletion should occur, the second should effectively do nothing. But for post and patch, things are different, they're not idempotent by default, so think carefully about how these affect your data. Second up is versioning. APIs evolve with new features, improvements, or changes. To keep older integrations working, add versioning to your API, either through the URL, like slash v1 slash users and slash v2 slash users, or by using query parameters, slash users, version equals one. This gives clients control and confidence when upgrading. No more broken apps when you ship new releases. Next, always use noun-based resource names. Endpoints should describe resources, not actions. For example, use slash API slash products instead of slash API slash get products. This restful design pattern makes APIs intuitive and easy to browse. Developers can instantly understand how to access and manipulate your data. Security is non-negotiable. Today, most APIs use JWTs, JSON Web Tokens, for authentication. These tokens break down into three parts, a header, a payload, and a signature. The header and payload carry critical info about the user and claims. The signature ensures your data can't be tampered with using hashing and secret keys. Plus, always communicate over HTTPS, never expose sensitive data, and follow industry best practices for access control. Moving on, let's talk about pagination. If your API deals with large datasets, don't send everything at once. Use pagination with query parameters like limit and offset to split results into manageable chunks. For instance, get slash API slash V1 slash orders, limit equals three and offset equals zero fetches just three items, allowing clients to load more as needed. This keeps applications responsive and avoids overwhelming users and services. Want in-depth guides on REST, GraphQL, JWTs, or API security? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to Bazai for more advanced engineering content. See you next time.